Hello, that is 724 News and I am Roxana Nisor. In accordance with the instructions of the government of the country, the State Committee for Tourism Development of the Republic of Uzbekistan is actively working to establish cooperation with foreign partners. In this regard, contact was established with the XEAN Association for the study of cultural tourism on the Silk Road. Thus, there was a meeting in the capital of the first deputy chairman, Ravshan Usmanov, and the president of the association, Chan Shan, and vice president, Shao Jian Yu. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss the priority areas of bilateral relations in the field of cultural tourism research, including twinning relations between the cities of Samarkand and Xi'an. The sites discussed strengthening the exchange of information to stimulate tourist flows, both to Uzbekistan and China, as well as establishing work on development of joint tourist roads and exchange of employees and representatives of the tourist business guides. Following the talks between the XIAN Association and the Republican Center for Advanced Training and Retraining of Personnel in Tourism Sphere under the State Committee for Tourism Development, a memorandum of cooperation was signed. Since the beginning of the current academic year, a new department for training specialists in the field of protecting the population and territories from emergencies has appeared in a number of educational institutions of the Republic. Such a large-scale work is carried out by the Ministry of Higher and Secondary Special Education in accordance with the Presidential Decree dated June 2, 2017 on measures to further improve the training of specialists in the field of protecting the population and territories from emergency situations. The purpose of this training is to improve the quality of selection and acceptance of personnel for work in the system in the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Training on life safety, which this year involved 115 students, is underway at Tashkent State Technical University named after Islam Karimov. Tashkent Institute of Agricultural, Irrigation and Mechanization Engineers, Tashkent Chemical Technology Institute, Namangan State University and Andijan Machine Building Institute. Moreover, about 100 students in four colleges of the country receive additional training related to professional orientation of the younger generation, instilling practical skills in emergency situations, as well as performing work in the field of protecting the population and territories from emergencies and civil protection. Action. To familiarize students with the profession of the rescuer, meetings are held with the leadership and specialists of the Ministry of Emergency Situations. Cooperation plans are being signed, which allow students to practice in the units of the Ministry of Emergency Situations, and specialists can attend classes for the training of students. These universities and colleges are renovated and equipped with appropriate teaching aids, inventory and furniture. Chilondor Buyum Savdo Shopping Center hosted a practical lesson on fire safety. It was held in order to improve the level of training of not only the safety personnel, but also civilians. According to the resolution of the President, every Wednesday, Fire Prevention Day is being held throughout the country. Particular attention is paid to those places where high population density and large concentrations of people are recorded. One of such places in the capital is Chilonzor Buyum Savdo Shopping Center, which is located on the Hippodrome. The main fire department of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, jointly with the fire department of Chilonzor District, regularly conduct practical firefighting sessions to protect wasters and workers of the complex from accidents. In 2017, during eight months in Uzbekistan, 8,203 fires were recorded, as a result of which 102 people died and 288 got severe burns. There were 1,200 sorting fires only in the capital that claimed sorting lives, and 39 people got burned. National teams of Japan, China, Kazakhstan, Saudi Arabia and Uzbekistan continue to compete in 9th Asian Youth Aquatics Championship on water polo took place in the capital. On the third competition day, Chinese and Japanese women's teams meet each other. Until the last minute, both teams fought well and kept the audience in suspense. But the girls from China were a little stronger than Japanese. The final score is 10 to 7. Then followed the game expected by the many of our compatriots between the women's teams of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. After hard but spectacular periods, a draw was fixed 7 to 7. Teams of Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan with three points on the first position. Then China two points, Japan nil. Final results will be known on the last day of the tournament. Women's team of Kazakhstan to meet with China. And rivals of our competitors will be girls from Japan. 
today's news came to an end. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.